Michael Shinners from Skybet. Hello to you, Michael. Hello, Alex. <laughs> esteemed. Esteemed. Okay, that's fine. And of course, making it slightly more esteemed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ollie Bell from Racing UK. Hey, Hi, right. you. Really looking forward to this. It looks like an absolute cracker. First of all, Ollie, let's just start off with the potential fairy tale. Mm. The next red run. Many clouds, top weight. Can he do it? Well, yes, is the answer to that. And, and, and you've seen in recent years the horses like Pinot de Rey, uh, Aurora's Encore that have, that have come back and tried to win back-to-back -back nationals and because they've taken quite a large hike in the weight, they've carried a lot more weight relative to what they did when they won it, it's very hard for them. But in many clouds case, he's not actually carrying really any more than he was when he won 12 months ago. So there's a, a very strong case to be made for him being able to back up and, and this is the, the most likely horse to be able to emulate the great red rum for, well, certainly in my lifetime. Yeah, what about the money then, Michael? Has the money come? for many clouds. Absolutely, it's incredibly popular. It's sure to go our favourite. Alex, this is a bookmaker's race. We've had 33 to 1 winners, we've had 25 to 1 winners, we've had 100 to 1 winners in Mon Rome. We had a terrible Cheltenham. Surely this is going to be a race that, you know, bookmakers will be able to get a result. But he is very popular. He's bound to be popular with, with, um, with the punters. Obviously, we're not running money back. You're paying the five places. Five places are going to be incredibly hard to kick out of the frame. But it's a Grand National. Things can go wrong. And, you know, perhaps there might be a better handicap to us looking somewhere further down the weights. And, of course, the bookies got off lightly last year, didn't they? Because AP's horse um, shut the front door, was backed like defeat was out of the question but luckily for you, he didn't win. But that horse is back for more. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's obviously got a, he's got a huge chance to um, shut the front door. Um, obviously, you've got John Jero Neil, J.P. McManus, uh, two guys who, you know, who love the Grand National. He must, have a, he must have a massive chance. Many Clouds was a big prize. He was a great result for us last year. He's not going to be a great result for us this year. Shut the front door, the reverse of that. He'll probably be a fairly decent result for us. And he was a little bit disappointing last time out. And, you know, he would have to bounce back to certainly last year's form. Slight question marks over the trip for him but um, yeah a horse that you would have to respect yeah now ollie over the years you have film stars that capture the imagination and people that the public really take to their hearts what on earth can Silviniaco conti do to make the public love him well he can't do much more but he doesn't quite have that sort of public um the x factor yeah, I suppose, isn't he's it? A bit, yeah he's a bit of a grind he came out of the when paul nichols had quarto star in denman and he sort of slipped under the radar a bit to, to win King George's and, and run well in gold cups and back fair chases and what have you. Um, I suppose if he was to win the Grand National, it would round off his career, which is an unbelievable C CV. He's arguably the most talented horse in the lineup. If he was to win the Grand National, perhaps he'd have a few more, uh, few more fans. But um, you'd expect the fans to come from those that have backed him. I can't, I can't see him winning. To be honest, I'm not convinced he stays. But, um, but he's a, a very talented horse, and, and as I say, arguably the, the most talented horse in the lineup. What about another Mr. Frisk for Kim Bailey Esquire? <laughs> uh, well. He says that this is his best chance of... We're talking, of course, about the last Sunday, yeah, right? yeah, not the Rainbow Hunter, thankfully. <laughs> that, that, that journey's over. He did say that this is his best chance of winning the race since Mr Frisk. He's had long shanks and looked for a long way that he was going to win the race. Uh, I spoke to Kim Bailey at the races the other day, and he said this horse is in flying form. He's really happy with his preparation. Touchwood, um, he turns up on the day in 100%. But, but if, according to Kim, every step of the way has been perfect. He's also, according to the official handicapper, very well well treated because the weights came out um, before he won at Doncaster uh, and he's effectively it's near enough a stone well in so the handicapper uh, is a bit behind the eight ball with this horse in the Grand National. Um, Michael, everyone loves a rogue, holy well, he's got the ability, will he put it in on the day, has he been backed? I mean there's, uh, he's one of these horses that <clears throat> just comes to life in the spring. Um, He's not the biggest of horses, so there would be slight question marks whether he'll take to the Grand National fences. There has been a few pounds kicking around for him. Richard McLernan takes the ride. Um, yes, he must, have a, he must have a chance. I think he's one of them horses, I think after two or three fences, you'll probably know your fate. If he's out the back and sulking, then I think you're in trouble. If he's out there bouncing away, you know, loving the, uh, loving the ground, loving the conditions, then, you know, he, he must have a chance. He's not for me, though. I think that there's better uh, value um, lurking elsewhere in the, uh, in the National Fund. Tell me that the support for the horse I really like because if you like the last samurai you've got to like the druid's nephew and of course what a shocker for everybody that backed him last year. Yeah absolutely and Dennis O'Regan takes the right the jockey many people forget road black Appalachia when obviously just behind well five lengths behind don't push it and Tony McCoy's uh, grand national year and um, he must have a big chance he's he's hiring the weights I think he's nine 
pound tyre. That said, he's obviously been trained for the race. Dennis O'Regan should get a great tune out. To me, he must have a massive chance trained specifically for the race. And one that, again, another horse that would be difficult to get out of the five, you would imagine.